Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Energy Crystal Reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not, as those messages may be meant for someone else. So I have my crystal, the crystal grid deck, and it's all the crystal cards, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use some tarot. Okay. So what messages do we have for Capricorn? I'm feeling like actually this deck. I kind of change it up if I feel I want to change it up. So I saw that this deck and I was like, oh, I think it's this deck. What message do we have for Capricorn for today? We have the tower and we have the six of wands. So that's pretty cool is the tower, right? Something that's torn down, something that's fallen apart, stripping something down to the basics, rebuilding something stronger, and then six of wands, it, it ends in success right princess of cups listening to that intuition bottom of the deck the star aquarius all right so then let's use these for clarifications on the tower a breakup a shake up dismantling something we have the lovers, so it could represent a relationship. We have the world. And then we have, I feel like it's starting something new within a relationship. Now this could be with work, it could be with business, it could be a friendship, it could be a partnership, it could also represent the relationship that you have with yourself. All right, clarification on the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and Temperance. Being patient with the process, right? Princess of Cups, your intuition, awakening your intuition, strength. I feel like one more. And then bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups has been coming out a lot lately for Capricorn. I love it, right? Keeping your eye on the prize um, with the star. So over here for the Princess of Cup, we have the Strength card. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Six of Wands, and we have the Knight of Swords. I feel like it's going after your dreams, right? Going after your not holding back. Not holding back anymore. Being confident in your decisions. Rising above a situation. But I feel like this is the process of the tower and then the tower of something that has to be torn down or something that's fallen apart or, or there's been a recent shakeup or there's been sort of this movement within relationships or feelings with yourself. But then we have this two of wands which is the beginning of something. But I also feel like it's a be patient with the process and there's something from the past, patterns from the past that you have to look over and you have to see and you have to realize, right? And being patient with the process and not pushing it and not forcing it, but then coming into your own strength and rising above the situation of the tower and then going gung-ho towards knowing the direction and towards your dreams. Okay, what crystal do we have for the tower? So I feel like that one just popped right out. Um, what crystal do we have for the Six of Wands? What crystal energy do we have for the Six of Wands for Capricorn? I feel like this one here, right on top. All right, what crystal do we have for the Princess of Cups? What crystal do we have for the Princess of cups. 
let's go with that one. And this one, that feels right. All right, bottom of the deck crystal for overall energy. They're new, so they're kind of sticking together. We have this one, which is really cool, which is watermelon tourmaline, love, balance, clarity. Relationships are the currency of life, and watermelon tourmaline raises awareness of soul agreements and your impact on other people's lives. This crystal is supercharged to activate the heart chakra, creating a divine connection between you and your higher self. Like the watermelon, it teaches you to enjoy the sweetness of life, remembering good things often take time to ripen. Exactly. So that's talking about relationships. So we have the lovers here, the sweetness of life, but that it takes takes time. Remembering good things often take time to ripen, which that's what I was saying here with temperance and being patient. Watermelon tourmaline balances masculine and feminine energies, connecting your heart chakra to both the physical and spiritual aspects of your life. Gemini, Virgo, Venus, Saturn, right? So this crystal here is basically the overall energy of this reading is those relationships and, you know, that those relationships take time and having that patience and that relationships are important, the relationships that you have with your family members, with your friends and with your partners and the people at work and what you're surrounding yourself, that that helps to mold your life and gives you that energy of what you're feeling around you, right? If you're in toxic relationships, if you're in toxic energies, that if there's drama and there's chaos going on, then that's what you get sucked into. But if there's calmness and there's achievements and there's directions and there's drive and there's kindness, then that's what's, what the energy that you absorb. All right, so we have the tower. The, this is the card that came with the tower. And we have quartz. Growth, alignment, cleanse. Containing all the colors of the spectrum, quartz is considered to be high vibrational crystal with many metaphysical powers. A conduit of energy, quartz generates electromagnetic energy and dispels electricity, absorbing, storing, releasing, and regulating positive or negative energy. It's highly personal and works with your energy field one-on-one, -on -one, attuning to it according to your needs. Quartz is easily programmable, programmable allowing you to set your intentions so that the stone works in your favor. Set your intentions wisely. And then this is my quartz that I have. I have this one, and then I have this one. So I have two different ones. This one I'm definitely very, um, this one's helped me a lot. So it's cleansing. So not looking at this tower as destruction, as the ending of something, but looking at that tower as a cleansing, a cleansing of relationships, right? A cleansing and new beginnings, right? Set your intentions. That's exactly what the stone was saying. And we have this two of wands, which is setting your atten intentions moving here on out, moving forward, setting your intentions. Okay, I had this cleansing. cleansing. I had this... I had this tower moment, I had this disruption, or I need to have this tower, I need to have this tower moment, I need to strip things down, I need to break things apart, I need to make these changes in order for this cleansing to move forward. All right, so we have the Six of Wands, it's rising above a situation, seeing all of the support that you have around you, right? The, the people that are supporting you, the people that are there for you, rising above the situation, success and victory, right? Um, and then we have this stone here, which is pink, pink fluorite, guidance, ease, and comfort. Pink fluorite mends pieces of the soul, reintegrating its fragments to make you whole again. Sometimes we get lost along our journeys, and plink, pink fluorite, I don't know why I want to say plink, <laughs> can, assist a, can assist us in coming back home to our true selves, your true self. Staying present inside your body, acknowledging, accepting each moment as it is, and detaching yourself from outcomes are helpful practices amplified by using P 
pink fluorite. This stone helps ease despair, giving you a surge of comfort and confidence that you have what it takes to make it through life's challenges, right? Life challenges, rising above a situation, having that success and victory within yourself. It doesn't have to be that success and victory for other people. It's for yourself. Just having a positive, good day is success and victory. Just looking at a situation that normally you would have fallen apart or you would have gotten angry or you would have got frustrated. But handling that situation and saying, okay, this is what it is. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to work through it and I'm going to get past it. And looking at it that way, that that's a success, right? It doesn't have to be that you, you know, it doesn't have to be a material thing. It could just be those little successes that you have throughout the day that make the day a more positive day, right? Looking at those little things. Being patient, that saying, well, I'm waiting for maybe this bigger success of a 10 of cups, that I'm going to enjoy these little successes with the page of pentacles, right? Looking at the bright side, looking at the positive of a situation. It doesn't have to be all rainbows and unicorns all the time. But taking a situation where maybe you would have, like I said, had a meltdown, but you look at the positive from it. What can I gain from it, right? Just being strong and not letting that situation drag you down is a positive. All right, so for this one here, we have the Princess of Cups, and then we have these two cards that I felt. Because I felt like this, this, I saw this card and I was like, oh, that looks like a princess with all of the pink. We have pink halotite, love, self-love, replenish, and cherish. Allows you to shed layers of negative thought patterns and beliefs as you connect to the essence of your true self. And that's what I was just saying is to shed those negative thought patterns. If there is a situation that normally you would have gone to the negative, that looking at it, how can I turn that around, that thought pattern, and turn it into a positive? It helps you to embrace new spiritual practices as a way of life, preventing you from picking up bad habits to begin with. You will make choices out of self-love. Choices, again, my brain is going faster than my mouth. <laughs> choices that help yourself and show yourself self-love. Honoring the highest version of yourself and trusting that you will make decisions for your highest good. It's a natural form of the mineral salt known as known to cleanse toxins from the aura and replenish one's energy field. So I feel like, again, this one over here was, I think this one was cleansing, um, cleansing toxins, right? Let's see, this one here, we have sunstone, leadership, confidence, freedom. And, I, and that goes back to that six of wands, having that leadership, that confidence, that freedom, king of wands, leadership, confidence, freedom. Again, see, we have the six of wands over here so that even though we, we had it over here in one sense and over here in another sense. Sunstone shines bright, igniting willpower underneath the sun rays, a stone of leadership gives you the courage to step out on your own and dare to make a difference and I feel like that's the knight of swords is you know racing towards making those decisions on your own I mean look he's very confident he's heading forward right even though there's these these clouds around and the horse looks like it's questioning this person but he's like no I'm determined right I'm determined to move forward um confidence to the beholder and is known to bring good luck for fortuitous in nature, sunstone brings out your natural talents, allowing you to shine like the star you are. Helps fulfill karmic contracts, alleviating pressures around to sense of purpose or, or fulfillment. Abundance will flow once you nurture your gifts. Exactly, nurture your gifts. And Princess of Cups is the beginning of that intuition and being in touch with your gifts, being in touch with those positive things, right? Those things that make you happy, those those thing, things that help you to come alive, right? To rise above a situation. All right, um, let's do an animal oracle. Final message for Capricorn for this reading. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter, exactly. 
that definitely goes with this reading is to clear out the clutter of negativity. The tower. The tower, I feel, goes with the frog spirit because the frog is clearing out the clutter and the towers get rid of all the cl clutter, right? Get rid of the negativity. Get rid of the things that are holding you back. Whatever those things represent to you. And then you can turn that around to start focusing on you and making those, giving yourself that self-love and choosing those things that make you happy with that confidence in that direction and not questioning yourself, right? Not having doubt within yourself, being strong and confident. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.